Yes, sir. Trill Bill in the building. Hey, 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 hey. Yes, indeed. You know what I mean? Representing with the general down here in Texas. Man. Yes, sir. Yes, LBC, sir. man. Yes, you know what I mean? We're in this thing. Yes, indeed. Peace. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Salute to the mighty LDBC. Much love to the chat. Everybody's going to be watching this on the replay. <clears throat> Salute to my brother, Trill Bill Haney in the building. How you doing today, brother? Oh, absolutely. You know, you know, I've been keeping it true all my life, but the only person gave me the name, Trill Bill, if they heard it, you, you know, you heard it first, 7-8. You did. Thank hey, you for having hey, me. Salute. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir, man. We got, you know, and I, I also gave Dev the name Black Jesus, man. Yes, Black sir. Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, that's sir. The, that, that was to counter our brother Black Fight fan with, with White Jesus, you know. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I, I, sure, I, I sure miss our dear brother, man. Man, me on, too, on man. The, on, the, on the mic. I didn't call and told him. You know what I mean? I told yeah, him. I yeah. said, uh, I said, we miss you, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, the streets ain't the same no more, man. Streets ain't the same no more, man. He know what he doing. He know he got us. He know he got us on the edge. He, he, but you he, know he, what he I told him? I said, if anybody fall apart and don't do what they're supposed to do, then you're gonna you're gonna pay hell to high water when he come back. So I'm still right. on the grind. You know what I mean? Uh, doing right. it just he here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, uh, black trying to force a drought. He trying to force a drought. That's, yeah. what to do. <laughs> that's it. That's, that's what we That's do. it. That's it. <laughs> and he doing and he doing a good job at it. You know Most what I mean? Deaf. Most definitely. Yeah. 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 Most definitely. But um, yeah, Bill. First and foremost, man, I want to say, man, assalamu alaikum to you, and I'm happy uh, you guys have finally got this Lomachenko fight. I know y'all have wanted this fight for so long. Y'all have been looking for this fight for years. Uh, y'all have been avoided by all the top names in 135, but finally you're getting a name that they can't deny you. They can't deny you. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, and walinka well, masalam. Uh, um, to you and your family as well, brother. Thank you. Um, yeah, this is this is a great time. This is just a great time. And I always say I'm just so proud and happy to be in the Devin Haney, the Devin Haney business. Um, and to watch him evolve, for him to stay down, you know, in a division that they consider to be the hottest division, and to stay down to not only get the crown, but to wait around to get his man. You know, um, he's, if you watch the movie Heat, He's our Wayne Grove. You know what I mean? No matter how much you didn't accomplish, you got to go back and get him. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, let me ask you this. How do you feel about guys like Max Kellerman, who, for the life of me, I can't understand. Max Kellerman, who just said, was it last year? I think he just said that, uh, you know, Loma should, 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 should avoid Devin Haney. Was it last year or the year before? He said... Loma should avoid Devin Haney. And now this year, when the fight's going to happen, Max Kellum is out here on ESPN talking about Devin Haney don't get no credit if he beat Lomachenko because Lomachenko old. What, what yeah, you know, that's say? just, uh, that's that's uh, that's rhetoric, you know what I mean? That's shit to, uh, to slow the train down. Um, you know, whether or not he likes Devin uh, for, you know, um, Devin being the youngest undisputed champion in boxing, um, the youngest promoter, self-promoter in boxing, um, you know, the trailblazer and bushwhacker for the, the new era to come along, you know. Um, if, if Max doesn't like it, he should respect it, you know what I mean? Uh, Devin has spent, you know, 15, 16 years to get to this point, you know, uh, blood, sweat, and tears. And it's, uh, I find it strange that Max, with the professionalism that he has, and the, as long as he's been in the sport watching, excuse me, guys, excuse, hey, no, 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 uh, -uh. give me a second. Hey, hold on, the kids. Uh huh. Hey, hey, Lambo. Yeah. Don't let him do no talking. I'm on the interview, okay? Yeah. Um. Excuse me. Yeah. For 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 Max, to to. To know sports and to be uh, to have have a voice and a platform in the sports world to not give credit to two fighters um, in Lomachenko and Haney. Uh, Lomachenko, what we've uh, been talking about lately, is that he's younger than Terence Crawford. Um, so why wouldn't we get it, right? And Devin is going into a fight where he's the same age as Canelo Alvarez when Canelo fought uh, Floyd Mayweather, 
And uh, Floyd, um, it's funny because Canelo was considered too young, you know, and, uh, you, you know, so it's just, uh, it's one of them things, man, that I find strange. Um, mm -hmm. But I cannot say that it doesn't, it doesn't bother us, you know. Um, right. we're, you, you see, you know, we live with that chip on our shoulder. Um, you know, we try to please the people. We try to please the announcers. We try to please them. And it's almost to our detriment because we put ourselves in positions that other fighters wouldn't. You never hear us say yeah. it's about the business. We always say it's about the fans. But now yeah. you have even younger, I mean, even fighters that aren't as accomplished as Devin now turning into businessmen. Right, right. And speaking of that, um, <clears throat> you guys have agreed to take this fight um, for May 20th, um, and you guys are currently undergoing uh, participating in Ramadan, okay? Yes. Um, that's scary to me, man. It was scary. I'm going to tell you something, Bill. All real talk, I was afraid of that because I said, man, that's not really fair to, to Dev. Until you came on here and I saw that light shining from you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now I know. Now I know. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You, you can't <laughs> stop God's work. Can't stop no. God's work. No. And and actually, Ramadan is helping us, um, yes, you know, to to observe, you know, Allah and all Allah's blessings. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for God. You know, um, he's done. He's done a number on me and my family. Um, every one of my every everyone in my family is now Muslim. And and we all are observing Ramadan. Of course, Devin um, is not able to fast like he would like to like with mm -hmm. everyone. But he's praying um, and he's also he's also making zakat. And um, there's no perfect Muslim, um, but it's all about the intentions. Um, you know, me as being the elder in my family, I'm both fasting and both praying. I haven't missed a prayer and I haven't um, and I fasted every day, you know. And yes, if sir. you can see, I, I, I'm, you know, I've lost uh, some of the, the fat. I've lost the toxins. I've lost everything right. <laughs> and gained more mental focus. So um, when you say Ramadan being tough and no, it's it's the total opposite. When you when you submit to, when you submit to Allah. Uh, you'll find your blessings, and we're we're finding them in abundance. Yes, sir. And, and yes, <clears throat> and Dev can always he can always make it up. He can always make it up as well if he has to. Um, let me um, let me ask you this: um, What is all the hoopla? I've been noticing a lot of hoopla, uh, and I, I see it. No disrespect to Shakur, but I see it as a distraction tactic because I don't understand why Shakur Stevenson name keep coming up when Shakur just got to 135 and, and y'all been here trying to get these other fights. Why is everybody asking y'all to fight Shakur right now? Have y'all been uh, given any offers to fight Shakur? Um, not at all. One thing I told Abraham is that, um, you know, we appreciate the opportunity. You know, we went, over, we went back and forth with him and, and not having to fight. And he said we signed to the wrong promoter. So what I told Bob was, that after we beat George Cambosos, put your best fighter in there, Bob. We're not going to run out with the belts. We're not trying to, you know what I mean, do no bullshit, um, have a, what you call a voluntary, and then, you know, play that game. We told Bob Aram, listen, put your best fighter in there, and you got a shot for the third fight, right? He gave us Lomachenko. He put Lomachenko on the table. I said, Bob, you sure you don't want to give me an option? On, on Shakur for the fourth fight. You don't want to put anything on the table for him. He said no. So I I I would have kept it between the camps, right? I would have kept it. I kind of had hinted and said uh, no one has called me. I said that, you know, and, and I got a lot, of, a lot, a lot of respect for Jay. You know what I mean? Jay's paved the way for me, right? He's talked to right. me. You know what I mean? Mentored me through these things. You know what I mean? In terms of the boxing business. On speed dial, I can call him, you know what I mean? Um, at any given time. I said, out of respect for Shakur and Jay, we would give Shakur an option, you know, an action at fighting, right? He said that, you know, that we were going to run or leave in the division. I made an announcement and said, Devin has decided that he's going to stay for the rest of the year to give uh, Shakur an option, right? To give Tank an option if they want the belts. You know what I mean? Because we could have just thrown him in the ocean, uh, you know what I mean, after the George Cambosos fight. We didn't have to fight Lomachenko. 
Devin, while on the plane going from Australia, plane is still in turbulence and everything, and Devin is saying that I want Lomachenko. I'm looking at him like, okay, you know, Dad, like, you know, like, you know, let's pass me the, the peanuts and let's. Well, he's like, no, I want to go to the, I want to go to the fight in New York. You know what I mean? Right. And go get in the ring with him. I want him. You know. Now, he's the only one that Lomachenko is the only one that raised his hand prior to that and said that his dream was to be undisputed. You have then have Shakur who says that he wants all the belts as well. But it's kind of conflicting because he comes back and says that he's a businessman and the business part of him and, and that he might, you know, if he had a choice, he would pick um, Tank Davis or Ryan Garcia and pick the money. Well, I mean, that's what he said that made the division not hot is that fighters aren't fighting and they're choosing the money. So right. I'm thinking that he's coming in and you know what I mean? He's going he's going to do different than what the other guys have done because I have so much respect for Grandpa. You know what I'm saying? His, his, his grandfather, who's also mentored me in the business, opened the door for me to come in and um, spar with Shakur and always be on speed dial. You know, I got so much respect for their team that I would have expected Shakur to talk to them, talk to uh, Bob Arum, talk to Devin, and hell, even call me instead of going to the media and say something that you weren't going to do your due diligence and, fall, and, and follow up on, you know? Um, and that's making sure that you and your team are on the same page. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <clears throat> so uh, with that being said, um, after the, I know you don't want you can't look past Lomachenko. It's a serious no. business, serious mm -hmm. fight. But do you guys have plans on campaigning at 135 or moving up or are you not sure yet yeah the the, the uh inshallah when we handle our business with uh with Vasil Lomachenko um we're going to add another dead bold lock to the lightweight division right and show mm -hmm. them that they're not getting shit the only way you're gonna get anything is you got to come and take it because we're not throwing shit away we're not doing nothing until you put some respect on Devin Haney's name Yes, sir. And um, Javante Davis will be fighting uh, Ryan Garcia coming up this month, later on this month. Um, can we expect to see the uh, the winner of that fight face Devin Haney? Um, you know, you can't expect anything um, coming from, you know what I mean, that camp over there, right? Um, you don't know what they say. They say a lot of things. They've never said um, fight. You know what I mean? They've never said um, you know, call up Bill Haney, call up Devin Haney, call up, you know what I mean? Uh, right. whoever, you know what I'm saying? But you've seen them now work with the zone. Um, and I'm sure that, and they're working with golden boy. Uh, the only person they ain't been working with is us. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. <clears throat> when y'all was with the zone, they yeah. didn't want to work with you. When you were free yeah. agents, yeah. they didn't want to work with you. Right. Now you were top ranked. They ain't working with you. Right. Uh, now, so we're, I, now we're, now we're on our last fight on the deal. Um, and we still don't hear anything from them. You know what I'm saying? So if, you know, let them do what they're doing. I don't have any problem with that. Uh, one thing that I do say is that Devin is a legacy fighter. He's fighting for his legacy. Uh, he's fighting to be one of the best that ever put on a pair of gloves. And, of course, the money is going to follow. Yes, sir. All right, Brother Bill. <clears throat> Short and sweet, man. I want to thank you for your time, Brother Man. And um, go out there and handle your business, Brother Man. I'm so proud of you and Dev. And uh, I will be keeping contact, and I'll holler at you in a minute, brother. Hey, hey, thank you, uh, seven eight. Everybody that's going to uh, watch this in syndication, you know what I mean. Shout out to the mighty, mighty LDBC. Yes, and sir. I know they hate when I say it, but they can't do nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. sir. You know what I mean? Y'all have a good one, man. Blessings. Peace, brother Bill. Peace.